In this video, we are going to learn how to perform seam well fatigue analysis in Altair Sim Solid. We'll be using this subframe model in the demo, which has already been set up and solved for linear static analysis. This assembly has a bunch of seam wells on which we'll be performing the seam well fatigue analysis. To run seam well fatigue analysis, the material should have seam weld membrane and bending SN curves defined. To begin, let's create a SN time fatigue subcase. You can import the channels that contain load histories using a CSV, RSP, or RPC files. Double click on the imported channel file to review the load histories. In addition to the channels available in the imported file, SimSolid also creates a uniform channel on the fly, which can be used during the event creation. The next step is to create the event. Add row and uh, link the proper load histories to the load cases. Specify the values for channel scale, channel offset, number of repeats, channel gate range, and create the event. SimSolid fatigue analysis provide a variety of options. When performing seam well fatigue uh, analysis, you can choose to include or exclude parts for general fatigue analysis. We are going to exclude all the parts for general fatigue analysis. Switch to seam well fatigue tab. Here you can pick the wells to include and exclude from the seam well fatigue analysis. Set the stress combinations, mean stress corrections, thickness corrections, and many other options. Run the fatigue analysis to view the damage and life on the seam welds. Select the seam weld fatigue option to view the seam weld fatigue results. Here you can view the damage and life for all the events together or individual events. You can also select a seam weld and click plot to view the damage along the length of the weld. The damage is also shown as a contour plot when you select the weld in the dialog. Thank you for watching.